Guys, what's up? All right. This is going to be a two-parter because I, uh, I have several videos. The video I'm going to release today is something I recorded um, right after I made that emergency video on Instagram. You might know it. I'm going to flash my Instagram right now, so if you don't know it, you can check it out. Add me on Instagram. You can ask me questions there. Um, but things changed. Um, kind of changed. I hope they changed because I made that video. And um, I'm, uh, right now, I'm still going to say, do not go to Ke do not go to King Cove. Don't go to Peter Pan right now. I'm still going to say that because they, it, you know, it's only been like a few days. They haven't fixed all the issues, um, and and there are a lot of issues. I want to talk about in my part two, but for right now, I'm going to post uh, a very long video talking about all the bad stuff that um, that happened to me recently. So again, this is my experience. If you really, really need a job, I and Peter Pan contacts you. Like literally, the only reason you should get a job at Peter Pan right now is if you're on death on death's edge, or you really need money. You desperately need money, and you absolutely have no choice. Like absolutely have no choice. That's the only way I can justify Peter Pan right now. Um. But if you have time and you have options, I, I definitely recommend going to a different seafood processing plant. But, um, yeah, here's the video. Okay, um, I'm on my lunch break right now. This is going to be a very ugly video. Because um, I'm not going to edit this one. Because I, I need to do it quickly. Um, right now, I don't, where, where should I start with this? Where should I start with this? Um... I just just eavesdropping on a conversation. I'm not going to say any names because the people involved in this are are doing the responsible thing. I don't want to get them in trouble. However, the people um I would I just kind of eavesdropped on a uh, conversation with um security here and three individuals who were involved in the incident. One one of which ha had their back broken, and it's this is this is where it started. This is how I'm getting all the information. Um, I'm kind of, I'm scared that you guys aren't going to hear it because I have to, I kind of have to whisper about it because if I get caught right now, I'm going to get fired immediately. I, <laughs> and I need to at least wait until pay cycle to get fired so um, I can get the head out of here. Um, but anyways, what was I saying? It started off with some dude hit the ground and his back got fucked up and, um, you know, it was very obvious he could not keep working. So um, he went to the nurse's office, and the nurse, the nurse here is—I don't even know her name, but I'm—I'm I'm not uh, scared to talk bad about her. That the nurse here is a fucking bitch. She is unethical as hell. She will let you die. She will let you die if it means her not having to work. Um, he walked all the way to the nurse's office, which is—it's it, a fair—it's a fairly long walk. It's about ten minutes when your back's not fucked up so you you can imagine like the pain this guy was in walking to the nurse's office and she basically told him you're fine and like he was so afraid of getting fired because like his fucking lead his fucking manager um is also unethical as hell now all managers here are unethical as hell but like this in particular person is i don't know who she is but she told him get back to work while well, his back is fucked up so this dude's fucking working, and you know, like he's scared of getting fired because you know he came from a bad situation also, um, and it just got to the point where like he was like, "Look, you have to fire me," and that's exactly what they did. They fired him because like he broke his back and they refused to fucking fix him. Um, and that sprang forth another issue about all the other things going on. Like there was a man who got a fist cut in his eye, and he could not open his eye and all all the nurse gave him was basically uh water droplets that's it and she told him oh you're fine you're fine you're completely fine and the dude could not open his fucking eye he needed actual antibiotics and they they had to, like there was a huge debate about this to the point where like someone threatened look if you gotta give me something or i'm gonna call osa on you and osa if you don't know that's like the people who uh those are like the enforcers who they're like the police officers of companies 
um, or at least this company. I, I don't know about every company, but um, they caught OSHA. They threatened to call OSHA, and then he finally got his medical shit. And um, and another guy actually called OSHA, and this is where it gets um, this is where it gets very bad. The dude, there was one dude who came here, and he had stag on his leg, and in the bed he was sleeping in, it got um, it got on his bed. But that here's the thing: they actually sent him out to get his stack fixed and then they sent him back all paid for by the company however when it so however they did not clean his bed and someone else got into his bed and he got stacked on his face and his face was literally falling off it looked it it was disgusting it looked terrible um his entire face was falling off and he went to the nurse's office and the nurses gave him some lotion it, it honestly was just fucking lotion for his stag no he needed full out antibiotics he had to go to the hospital um and you know the first day it looked like it was getting better but no it was not fucking getting better the next fucking day his entire face was fucking falling off and they refused to send him to the hospital it was very fucking clear he had stag and he, he got ringworm he needed to go to the hospital they refused they fucking refused to send him to the hospital and um uh, so what he decided to do was he called OSHA and once he called OSHA, he immediately got fired. There was no, there was nothing. There's, there were like, as soon as the investigation got here, he, um, the investigation guy fined this place heavily. First off, people were working 18 hours a day, which you're not allowed to do apparently. Uh, but no one reports that because everyone who comes here, they come here for the money. They're willing to work those long ass hours, even though it's illegal. They found out like all the shit, uh, city things that were happening to people, and I'm and there's there was like so much stuff that was going on. There's another investigation, and there's going to be an undercover boss coming to Peter Pan and King Cove. I, I'm not sure about the other locations of Peter Pan, but I know damn well do not come to Peter Pan right now because Peter Pan is unbelievably bad right now. I don't know about the past, I don't know about the future, but as this moment, go to another seafood processing plant. When I first got here, it was not nearly this bad because, you know, it was the end of the season. They took it in slower. They were taking care of people. But as time moved on and people were coming back from vacation, because that's what people do. They go on vacation for one season, then they come back for the next. Um, but when this, this nurse came back from vacation, that's when shit, shit started to go down because she refuses to take COVID tests. And I did not. I, I think I didn't tell you about the COVID test. Um, apparently. There are uh, like 30 or 20 or 30 motherfuckers walking around this place right now with positive COVID. Um, what's supposed to happen is when you get to the hotel, they test you at 5 a.m. in the morning. No one, not a single new person got tested for COVID. And if and um, from what I hear, not everyone's even fully vaccinated either. So not a single new person got tested for COVID. There's a lot of people sick here. People get sick all the fucking time here. And normally when you get sick, you get quarantined for two weeks. You know, standard uh, COVID stuff. No one's in that house. That house for quarantine is completely empty. And no one. And um, someone called also about that too. And also, just like, yep, we're adding that shit to the list. And they're coming out. Like, shit's about to hit the fan. I swear, shit better hit the fan. Because um, a lot of people um, are fucking scared. And people are quitting left and right right now. But the thing is, we're stuck on the island. There's no way out. The only way out is one plane that Peter Pan has complete control over. Like, they pay for our tickets. So people have to wait one or two weeks just to get the hell out of here. And um, I'm about to be in the same situation. I'm quitting too. Come this ne next paycheck, I already told um, management because I got a different job somewhere else um, that pays better and uh, less, the same hours, but like I have a day, day or two off. And I'll, I'll talk about that later, but that's not important right now. Um, but pretty much what they're doing is everyone who calls OSA is getting fired, which is illegal, by the way. If you did not know that, you're always allowed to call. Like, if your employment people are fucking assholes and they're doing something illegal, you are allowed to call without fear of being fired. If they fire you, um, that that is a huge issue. Like, 
But what they're doing is everyone who's calling it OSHA. There's a lot of people calling it OSHA right now. There's a lot of people calling it OSHA right now. They're um, firing them if they find out. I don't know how they find out, but they find out. And um, OSHA is taking a lot of fucking action. So you know if a fucking government... I don't know if it's a fucking government, but you know if another organization is taking action against another organization, um, they're doing extremely fucked up shit. So guys, don't if you have got hired to Peter Pan, just don't come. Like, do not come. You have so many different options. You have so many different options. Alaska is a gold mine of jobs. Do not come here. Do not come to Peter Pan. If you want to do seafood processing, fine. Go to Silver Bay. Go somewhere else. Just do not come to Peter Pan. This place is fucked up right now. Do not come. I also want to say, if you came here um, this last month, I'm sorry. It was not. It was not like this. It was not like this at all. When I first got here, when I first got here, things were professional. Things were clean. Things were going smoothly. It's not till this month where certain people return from vacation because um, the HR, the head H, the head HR guy went on vacation. So as soon as he went on vacation, a lot of shit went under the radar. A lot of shit was swept up. Uh, even I went to uh, HR and I was telling them a lot of situations that people were complaining about. Like there was a situation, a white man racially called a black man nigger. And he did not get fired, even though in the handbook it says you cannot do that shit. It says clearly in the handbook you cannot do that shit. Um, and the same guy also had a verbal confrontation with um, the HR assistant. And he still wasn't fired. And why, like, you have two problems right there. You have some someone who's fucking yelling their ass off at someone who is trying to help people and you are racist towards people you're acting like your friends to and the, the dude did not get fired and that it's a common fucking issue and when i talked to uh the person in charge because what they did i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm just gonna explain the shit out of this what they did was as soon as um the head hr guy i'm not gonna say names i'm never going to say names when the head hr guy went on vacation they basically made it impossible for the HR assistant to do anything. And you had to go to the front office and talk to uh, the head office asshole. And when you talk to the head office asshole, he's not going to believe a single thing you say. And he's just going to say, no, that's not true. Peter Pan is a magical place. It's perfect. It's perfect. And rainbows come out of my ass. That's exactly what he's going to say. And so nothing will get done. And he will side with whoever the fuck he likes the most. There is a very strict rule here. Do not fight. If you punch someone, you'll instantly get fired. Someone um, was not... Eh, he was kind of drunk. He was kind of drunk. He punched someone. And had a, he just knocked him out. All the leads saw. All the leads fucking saw. And um, he got fired. There's another guy who missed three days of work and he also got fired. It took them three or four days to get on a plane. In that time, both of them went to the front office and like were begging for their job back. And the guy who got who punched someone, the guy didn't even punch back, he just punched someone. He got his job back. But the guy who uh, missed three days and was an extremely hard worker, he did not get his job back and he was sent home. And everyone Every single last person who knows the situation is looking at him like, what the fuck? You should not be here right now. We do not want you here. But we can't like, act negatively to him because we're, we're stuck with him. We're stuck living with this crazy motherfucker who just beats people up because like he, he has a little bit of alcohol. And that's a common theme that like they're not firing people right now because they desperately need people. Do not come. Cause if, if you get here, it's going to be extremely hard to go home. Unless you do something like I'm doing right now, warning everybody. And I, this is this is not even going to um, be seen for a while because it's very hard to upload my videos because um, 
the Wi-Fi here is sucked. Like there was a, a week straight where we just straight up didn't have Wi-Fi. We couldn't connect to the outside world. We couldn't connect to our banks. And I, I'm I'm not sure if that's like the company's fault if they're doing that on purpose, or if it's literally just the last this is living on an island in Alaska. But it's it's really bad. It is very bad. Do not come here. If you came here, um, when all this shit happened, I am sorry. I take full responsibility. I feel so unbelievably bad. You, you guys have no idea how um sorry I am. Like I, I really am sorry for that. Um, if you would have gone to like any other seafood processing plant, this is my first time in Alaska too, so I fucked up as well. Um, if you go to any other seafood processing plant, from what I hear. I've never been there, so I cannot um, give you real information. I can only tell you what it's been like for me. But if you go to any other seafood processing, what I heard from talking to people here is that every other seafood processing plant is way better than Peter Pan, except for the pay. The pay is the only thing that Peter Pan um, beats people at. And I... But, and, and you know it's fucked up, but people who are coming from low incomes are saying, fuck the pay. This place is too uh, terrible to work at. So do not come here. Like, I cannot stress this enough, guys. Do not come to Peter Pan. Go to any other seafood processing plant. If you message me on fucking um, Instagram asking for a different company, I will help you find a different company. Do not come here, though. Just do not come here. And it might not even be, um, it might not even be seafood process and go to a fucking resort. Just work at a resort just work anywhere else. Do not come to Peter Pan. Peter Pan, there's a, a actual chance you will get physically hurt or you will get sick or you could even die. Do not come to Peter Pan. Like this, I, I'm, I, I feel very bad for, um, type of people to come here. Um, cause I, I just didn't know. I just didn't know how bad everything was until um this month. Because like I said, once everyone went on vacation, shit just got swept under the rug. People just stopped caring. And it's like things got bad. Just very fucking bad. And like, I have to, to fucking whisper making this video. I'm not this quiet. I have to fucking whisper making this shit. Uh, guys, do not come here. Just don't. Just, I'll, I will help you guys later. But right now, my only goal is to get the hell out of here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm truly, deeply sorry. All right, anyone who watches all my, my videos to the end, y'all know I'd like to put like a little type something down in the comments. I'm not going to do that this time. Instead, I want y'all to know if you see a cat at the end of my video, there's going to be something special. So here's a preview of my next video.